Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to pick names at random from a list. So this is more kind of like a, I think a silly or fun video where, you know, you maybe have a list of names here, yeah, have first name, last name, and then put the full name there. And we want to pick a list of names, maybe the three top names, and maybe we're having people volunteer for something, or we're picking out names for a contest or whatever. And this will help you create a picking, a random picking list. So if I press the F9 key a couple of times, you can see here the names change a bit from this uh, list of over 28 people, the first, second, and third place. You can see I can press it a couple of times, the random number generator works, and we have our list of people to pick from. So it, it does it kind of randomly. So I'll show you how to create something like this. Let's say that I go into sheet two and I just have my first and last names here. And let's just put the, the full name here, right? I'll put my name here. And the first name is Makarand and Little. And the nice thing about Excel here is it, once you type in this first name or you're trying to combine it, I can use Flash Fill to complete everything else for me. Press Control Enter, and then I can either press Control E and it will Flash Fill. It'll fill everything. It's kind of Excel. It, this is called programming by example. Excel is going to figure out what I'm trying to do. Let me control Z to undo that. Or if you like to go to the ribbon, go to flash fill here and you can just do flash fill and it's going to do the same thing. So either go here in the ribbon or press control E. Let's double click that to auto fill. The next thing I need to do is to create a random number generator. So this is going to be the rand function. And I just need to type R-A-N-D, press tab to complete that. And you can see it doesn't take any arguments. It just closes parentheses. I'll just press enter and it will create a random number. Double click to fill that formula down. And every time I press the F9 key, you'll notice that it changes the number, right? And after that, I want to rank it. So I want to have some kind of way of sorting it to, to take the number out or take my names out. So I'm going to use just the rank function. And this is the rank function type equals rank. And I'll just use the this rank because it's going to take the top rank if there's more than one value that's the same. I need to rank. Let's tab that to start this function. I want to rank the this number out of this whole list, right? So that number out of this whole list, I'll just select the whole column there. Uh, press enter, and that's 33 out of this whole list. So this ranks 33 out of the whole list. Double click the fill handle to bring that down. So this ranks first. I guess it's going to rank the highest number first, right? This is close to one. So this random number generator creates a number between zero and theoretically one. So 0.99 is closest to one. So that's the top one. Now I want to have my list here. So this is my first number, uh, sec uh, second, uh, first name, second name, and third name, right? What I'm going to use here is the match function. Type match, press tab to open. To complete that, the lookup value is I want to look up the number one. So that's going to be my first one, right? Number one. And my array is going to be this particular column, right? I need to press F4 because when I copy this formula over, I want to stay within column E. And I want it to be an exact match, right? So that's going to be zero. Press enter. And it finds the number one in the 11th, 11th row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, right here, right? So anytime I press the F9 key to recalculate this, it will change, right? It's going to be in the second row now. So we have our second row, which is this row. This is the first row. This is the second row. And that will provide the first value, right? So what happens is I want to bring back the name when it finds that first row. I'm going to wrap this match function in an index function. So index, press tab. I want to look at the array is just basically this array, right? Column C and comma. Oh, I also need to put this into, I press the F4 key to have it locked for that row because when I copy it over, I want to stay in column C. And it's going to bring back that, once it matches the first value, it's going to bring back the first column there, or the first row there, right? So I'll just press the close parentheses, press enter, and it'll bring back uh, John Tawari. That's the first one. Double click to auto fit that, right? John Tawari is the first one you can see here. That's the first one, right? Let's 
drag the fill handle over here to copy the formula over. And what I need to do, this is the first one, I need to change this one to the second one. And then I need to change this to the third one. Three. Let's make these columns a little bit bigger. All right now I've got my name picking generator. Press the F9 key a couple of times. You get, will randomly pick the first, second, and third name. The first name here is Ching Fen Weaver, which is down here, right? So if I had a lot of names, let's say, mm, let's say, let's make this 10, right? Select that. Let's cover it over to 10, right? So we've got it all over the 10th place. And you might think, oh, I need to type one there, I need to type two here, three. Well, you don't really need to do that. You can actually use another function here. I'm going to wrap a function called rows. Let's show it what it looks like here first. So what I need to do is use the, not the rows function, but called columns, right? So because I want to, this is the first column, second column, third column, right? So I'm going to use the, the columns function, the one with the S here, double click that. And the array is going to be basically just, I'm just going to select G1 here and colon G1. So columns G1 to G1 is going to bring the first column. G1 to H1 will bring two columns, right? It's going to count the number of columns. I need to put the first G1 reference in absolute, make it an absolute reference. So I'll press the F4 key, press enter, and now you notice it's picked out as one. And if I drag it over, it's going to pick, it's going to make it two because there's two columns in this range, G1 to H1, right? And if I drag this over to the tenth column here, you notice that it counts to ten. So all I need to do is take this formula, Control C to copy, press Escape. Let me go back into here, and I want to put it into this replace that lookup value. So it's going to bring back the number one, right? And that's going to replace that. Control V to paste, press Enter. Now that's going to be the first one, right? Drag the fill handle over here, and now I've got my list of uh, 10 names. Let's double click that to auto fit, or maybe I can make this a little bit smaller so we can see this. All right, so now I've got my, well, let's see, let's, let's take this and drag this out, make the column width a little bit bigger, All right? Now I press the F9 key a couple of times. You notice now I have my different names here. So let me drag this over. Right, I've got one to ten. These are the different names that are being picked out of that large list. Press it a couple of, F9 a couple more times. You'll see that I have my ten names picked out from a list of over twenty-eight. So this is the way that we can have some fun with random number generators to pick out uh, random names from a list. Maybe you have a contest or something like that. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.